think that right now in R&B, maybe our listeners going to tune out, maybe not. But I feel like in R&B right now, the female artists are running the game. Okay, I'll reload it. Okay. Yeah, man. I don't. I really don't think it's too much Let's open competition. Let's up a little bit. Yeah. When was it? What era in R&B was the top R&B acts? Three of them, one women. Four of them, one women. What era of music where it was dominated by the male being the R&B singer? You know what I'm saying? In comparison to groups from soloists, I say it's a vast difference. You know, I mean, like even in like the er the, the earlier 2000s, the, the late 90s going into the earlier 2000s, it was really dominated by girl groups and no girl artists. Uh, you know, of course we had Aaliyah sliding into the new millennium. Destiny's Child. Destiny's Mary Child. Mary, Mary, different. Mary. Mary Day J. Blige also different because she was birthed in a different era. So I'm trying to think of but artists. But she was dominating in that era. What I'm saying is the hottest artists. Okay. You know what I'm okay. Saying? So no. Party. So what I'm saying. And so what I'm trying to say is this. What I'm trying to say is without the groups and in being involved, no. The women have never dominated because, or at least not in the era I'm thinking about, which is the late 90s, early 2000s, is because a lot of the girls were in groups. I can't put them against soloists, and I think even if I did, they would lose because it was just too many uh, artists out there. Like, it was the genuine... Like it was the Tyrese, like it was like the superstar R&B artist that the girls was going in droves to go see out there. And they had to compete with them and it wasn't many solo women doing it. That's why I can really see that late 90s, early 2000s era even being male dominated. Though I can say that three women was at the top of those people you named. Maybe in Mariah a Carey, revolving Mary door. Maybe in a revolving door because people came with hits and people left with theirs. And they left, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a bigger hit. It was always a bigger hit. So yeah, maybe one week or two weeks or three. But I think if we go or back. 13. It, maybe. <laughs> But I think if we go back into the billboard charts and kind of see who was rotating in the top spots, which is typically the same artists in R&B, we would pretty much see the same names. One of them leaving, a new name replacing, but they eventually come back. Right. Is what I would kind of see. So I don't see for that period some a male or female dominating. That's why I think that's the perfect era. I think they well, I just shared it. Now. Like they shared the. Yes, okay, they shared that shit. Now. You know, we'll get three niggas and two girls, then we'll get three girls and two One niggas. guy might leave, right, and two, three girls is in there now. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? So I've got a group and two groups and a girl and two. You know what I'm saying? 100%. It, it. And it wasn't that many guy groups that, like, reigned. Like, Not reigned. Yeah, like no, it wasn't too many guy groups that reigned, but it was some, a few, few female ones that did. So I mean, and even if we sat down and talked about it even deeper, I feel like we would find out exactly who those females are. But I don't think we're gonna do that this episode. I really think.